I keep having people ask me how much this thing costs to build, but it's a great question. I should know. But let's find out. Because I didn't really keep track of it, so I went back and looked over it all. But before I talk about how much it costs to build one of these things, I mean, I'm a gas engine guy, know nothing about this stuff. But I wanted to do an e-bike, mainly, I think, because uh, Rolling Wrench said he was going to do an electric ruckus. And I guess they kind of did one? I don't know. I'm not sure they offered it to the people yet, though. I'm like, well, i got to beat him to the punch on that. i got to put out an electric Mad Dog for a hell of a lot cheaper and a do-it-yourself. Because in Mad Dog world, we do everything ourselves. We don't pay the big bucks for stuff. This e-bike will get into some big bucks. But I'll first focus on all the gains before the losses. The gains are, you're going to learn a lot of stuff. You're going to be humbled. You're going to meet a ton of new friends. Yeah, this e-bike community, they're pretty, uh, it's pretty small still. It's in its infancy, I think. And I'm talking about these high-powered e-bikes like this. This is the stuff you see in the Philippines. This is the stuff you see in Thailand running around. You know, 20,000 watt, 12,000 watt motors being ran at like 40,000 watts. I think this is in an infancy here in the United States, and uh, it was pretty difficult for me. I put out a lot of YouTube videos. I mostly don't know what I'm talking about when I do it, and it's good. I know some of you guys get on there and comment and uh, tell me how uh, it's all screwed up here. This is wrong. That's wrong. That's awesome. That's what I love. That's how I learn. And uh, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking offense to any of that stuff because that's exactly how I learn. And most of those guys that critique my videos told me all the places I was wrong. Those are mainly the guys I end up talking to the most and they can teach me some more valuable stuff. So I've learned quite a bit about this stuff from them. But the pouring out of help I got was amazing. Far Driver Facebook group, Endless Fear. If you're gonna do an e-bike you gotta go on endlessfear.com sign up ask questions these guys know everything they're amazing guys like matt who i've been chatting with for a week maybe months who knows guys like lou he's got a youtube page here imho e-bike guy does a lot of youtube stuff genius knows a lot these are like experts in their field right here i was even contacted by a guy in thailand Jack, yeah, he's like got these really, really fast bikes in Thailand. Um, he has a dyno. He's always working on them. He, I think he builds motors. I think he might build the parts that gets a hold of me. And he sees I'm having trouble. I can't figure things out. I'm trying to work my way through it. So I had my hazing week. Couldn't figure it out and screwing everything up. And maybe that's the initiation process. And uh, Jack, he contacts me from Thailand. And he hooks me up with a guy named Ryan Goodyear. And apparently he's like the famous tuner for these e-bikes. Seems to know everything. Everyone in the community knows him. You mentioned his name. Everyone knows they know him in China. They know him in uh, Thailand. They know him in Philippines. It's crazy. He volunteered his time. He talked to me till 2 in the morning, helping me work out my problems. He figured out my problem, that I had a bad controller, and uh, told me where to get one. These guys have been instrumental in building this thing. And could not do it without them. Yeah, it takes a village to build your e-bike. It really does. It takes a village. It's insane. But yeah, it's running great now. Super fast, super fun goes a long way it's way more than i thought it was going to be way faster it's got more range it's just funner than i thought it's going to be everything's more than i thought it was going to be and that's kind of the deal so yeah it's expensive we're going to go over the price here but like anything a little bit of reward for a lot of money is a pretty good deal in life we'll assume you have a, a good mad dog here or some kind of donor bike that already has you know front wheels tires brakes things like that we'll add up all the stuff i had to buy to make it an e-bike Display, gotta have that. The battery, the controller, the throttle. Quite a few of these little plugs and stuff. The rear shock, these bolts, some hardware, that spacer. These spacers down here. This swing arm. You gotta buy the motor. You gotta buy a tire to put on it. You need a rear brake, because your old mad dog had drum brakes. You need a rotor disc. Need an adapter, need some more hardware, you need a brake line. You need a rear brake if you have a cable brake. That's off an old motorcycle I had, so I don't even know. All right, good deal. So we're up to about, what, $5,000? We're riding. Look at those deer out. The nice thing about the e-bike is they'll just run right along with me. Look at that. So cool. Oh, we're not done yet. There's more money to spend. So now when your shit doesn't work, you got to get online with uh, the people in China and try to figure out why all the king's horses and all the king's men 
can't get your electric bike running right again so i'm having big issues on this bike you assume it's the settings you put in of course so does everyone else so you just get hours and hours and days and days of awesome help but it does no good because it turns out your settings are fine it's just the hardware's crap yeah i've noticed squirrels don't get out of my way they don't hear me coming other than that dying issue the thing's running great oh it's doing something weird i think it died so you get fed up with waiting for their system of maybe warranty maybe refund who the hell knows with the advice of others you just realize you got to buy this shit all over again so let's go back down and buy some more stuff i need another controller maybe it could be the motor could be the battery 33.3333 chance We'll do controller first. So it turned out to be the controller. Ryan Goodyear told me it was, and he hooked me up with the guys at Econic Cycle. I guess when you're buying Chinese parts from China, they're worse than the Chinese parts from America. Not really sure how that works. You know, sometimes they work initially, other times they don't even work out the box, but any of the components that we sell through Econic, we're happy to replace and get people to break pieces they need. We understand that they're just, sometimes they break. It's the damn truth. There's a guy, um, I'm gonna mess this up. Because I'm just saying it off the top of my head, Molly, and he's got an e-bike channel. I'm going to throw it up here. At first, for several months, I thought maybe it was just a bad tune. Well, it was obvious it was more than just a bad tune. So once I realized, well, damn, I'm going to have to spend a good chunk of money again and replace either the motor or the controller. I didn't just go get this controller from AliExpress because I'll probably get scammed again. I got this controller from EconicCycles.com right out of Kentucky. I'm not sponsored. It's just that if it wasn't for Econic Cycles, I would have to risk getting another controller from AliExpress where I just got my controller and got a dud. He's got a lot of helpful information. He had the same problem with the controller from China. Same controller I had too, the ND961800. Now I did just the same thing. I was convinced I had a motor problem, not a controller problem. And I was arguing until I was blue in the face to these guys and they're all telling me to shut the hell up and you got a controller problem and so I bought a controller. And they were 100% correct, had a controller problem. What do I know? So I ordered the new controller from Mechonic Cycles. Got it like within probably four days. I mean, if even that, it was really fast. It was in stock, so they shipped it right away. And Ryan kind of took care of getting it shipped quick. Put the new controller in and now I'm going good. So here's what it cost me. And hopefully I'll get a refund on my old controller. And if I do, the price should come down to this. And like I say, that's just electric parts. This is assuming you have a donor bike. Because I mean, everyone's donor bike's going to be a different price. You may have one sitting around in the garage. You may have to buy one. You may get one used with the blown up motor. Another damn squirrel. Out of the way, buddy. Really cool bike. I like it a lot. It'll probably be my daily driver. It's just so nice. It's just the way it rides. I can't wait to get home to go riding on it. And I'm just tooling around the neighborhood here. I'm just dicking around like a little kid on his bicycle. So fun to ride. There's just no hassle, no noise, no issues. Well, now there's no issues. Now that Ryan hooked me up. And Lou. Thanks, guys. We ain't done just yet. We still have to tune this thing.